Well, earlier today, I went out to our garden to check and see how it was doing. You know, a couple of peppers are growing well. There's three tomatoes coming in nice. We've got uh, apple trees doing great. But I had a problem where yesterday I had to go out and cut back our leaf lettuce, our uh, the basil, the uh, parsley, the green beans, and other stuff that just had suddenly gotten burned up. I, I had to cut a lot of leaves off the tomato plant, the broccoli. Couldn't figure out why. I thought what I had done was um, cause the leaves to get burned when I put some miracle Grow granules directly on the plants and then watered it. I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't put it directly on there, even though I had read in a few places that, well, you could. Well, turns out that wasn't my problem. Well, we have a timer on the garden in the back that, well, makes it get water regularly. And we can set that timer for every six hours, 12 hours, every one, two or three days. Well, I thought that the three setting was three hours. I had set it for three hours, I thought, to get 30 minutes of water every three hours. Well, that's not exactly what I did. I was starving our poor vegetable garden. The little vegetable garden that did, thankfully survive, was on the brink of death because I accidentally set it for every three days to be watered. Yeah. So it was getting 30 minutes of water every three days. And now I know why the broccoli and everything else looked like it was grasping for its last breath of, well, air. It was. Now, it wasn't the miracle Grow that killed it. I almost killed it. So, hey, when you're setting your irrigation timer, make sure you know what setting you're putting it on. Because if you don't, well, you're going to be like me, and you're going to almost be a garden murderer. So, well, that's our story for today. So, kids, don't kill your garden. Make sure you water it right. And don't misread the display on your irrigation timer. Well, that's it for today's lesson. This garden vlog is over.